Hey guys, hope you're all doing well. Um, sorry if my voice is a bit funny today. I'm a little bit blocked up in the nose, so I'll try and get through this without too many hiccups or sniffles. I don't really have hiccups. Sniffles, that'll do. Just a little bit blocked up, bit of congestion, but I'll be alright. Just been miserable cold weather. Um, the figure I want to review today is one I picked up yesterday. If you saw my haul video I did yesterday, you will have seen this. I just wanted to share this with you today. Uh, the lighting's pretty poor in here at the moment. It's just a miserable day outside, a bit overcast and a bit of cloud around the place. So it's, lighting's not the greatest at the moment, but I'll do my best. Um, of course, Plo Koon in his cold weather gear. Uh, pick, like I said in my video yesterday, I did pick this up off eBay extremely cheap. And as far as I know, this figure is yet to be released. They were showcasing him as a upcoming figure in at San Diego Comic Con over the weekend. Um, not 100% sure what number in the Clone Wars series is going to be or what wave yet. The fact that I've well, I have read it, but I can't remember off the top of my head because it was a lot to go, a lot to look at with the information that came out. But yeah, like I said, this is not the greatest quality I can get at the moment, only because of the lighting. But hopefully I can do it a bit of justice. Um, of course, he comes with his lightsaber, which is nothing different to we, to what we've seen before with Plo Koon figurines, uh, action figures. Um, pretty much the same one we've had for the last, yeah, however long. Can't imagine they've changed that too much. I will just run through the articulation quickly before we go into other details. Does have a ball jointed head, which doesn't allow a bit of movement with his hood on. Um, not the ball here in shoulders and elbows. Uh, swivels in the wrists. Uh, swivel torso, swivel hips. Uh, ball hinge knees, and no ankle articulation, which is kind of not really a surprise anymore. With these Clone Wars figures, particularly the Jedi that are coming out, a bit disappointing. Um, but what are you going to do? Um, accessories, like I said, with the lightsaber, he does come with this odd looking mask. I'm not sure how well you can see that. You've probably seen this figure reviewed a couple of times already. I know for a fact that uh, Sith Lord 229 has done it and also Flyguy.net. Like I said, I'm sure you've probably seen it before, but I'm not going to display it with the mask because it looks, looks very for lack of a better term, crap. <laughs> you can just see how much it sticks out. and It's meant to sit up on his face, but it doesn't sit. It Just look how much it sticks out. It just doesn't look good. Um, this idea of this character actually came from a comic book, Clone Wars comic. I haven't actually read it or seen it, so I'm not 100% sure of the story. We are getting a kiss fi Kit Fisto in the same sort of cold weather gear very soon. Um, other accessories, he does have these little little slip-on snow slippers with claws on the bottom. Which does look pretty cool. And a little peg hole so they don't... Uh, sorry, I'm a bit all over the place today. Um, little peg hole so it does sit in his feet rather well. But if you're looking to use a stand, once you've got the shoes on, it's not going to sit in the sand because they don't have any other peg holes on the bottom. But he does stand up pretty well. Um, not really a lot to talk about with the look of him. The face, facial sculpt is... I'm assuming it's exactly the same as what we've seen with other Plo Koons. This is my first Plo Koon in from the Clone Wars. So I can't really go, for, go off anything else. I dare say it hasn't changed a lot. Um, the little hood is removable once you take off his head just to give him a different look doesn't really do a lot for him but it doesn't look bad um, as you can see he's got a little rebel insignia or the Jedi logo on his emblem there on his chest sorry I'm just mumbling today I'm not I need a good night's sleep. 
<laughs> but I dare say be careful when this one does come out because the little emblem isn't exactly in the middle of that little circle that it's on. It's not it's on it, but it's not centered very well, so definitely look out whether it's a defect or I'm not sure. Um it does have these little decals on his armor on his arm there. Just give it a little something else. It looks good. All the creases and wrinkles in his shirt in his the rest of his clothing is really really nicely sculpted. Um, sort of boots are covered by a sort of strapping around his leg. That's they've done that really well. You can see all the little nicks and tears in it, so it looks a bit worn. <clears throat> um, yeah, nice, really nice colours. It really, really looks good on him. Um, I look forward to comparing him, displaying him next to the Kit Fisto one once we we're able to get a hold of this, get a hold of that one. <clears throat> but yeah, pretty nice figure, really. Um, I wasn't 100% sure about it at first, but now that I've got him in my hands, I'm glad. Um, I did pick him up at a really cheap price. He was loose on eBay, so unfortunately I don't have a card back to show you. Um, but I'm sure we'll see them in the very near future. So I hope this has been somewhat enlightening for you. Um, once again, I'm sorry for my stuffiness. I work in a refrigerated factory, so and it's the middle of winter here, so it's been bloody cold to say the least. Um, that's it's nice to come home and rug up and put the heater on and stay warm. But yeah, that is Plo Koon in cold weather gear from the Clone Wars, an upcoming figure you'll see very soon. So with that, I'll leave it for that for now. So uh, yeah. Till my next video guys, uh, may the force be with you.